you have to graduate from only being taught and you must learn how to teach what you're being taught. But before you can teach it, you got to become it. And you have to mature in it and understand it by experience. Not so much intellectually, but by experience. By the Spirit, I teach like I teach because of experience. If I haven't experienced it, I don't preach it. I don't preach nothing I don't walk in. That's what makes the Word of God living or alive. Now lift your hands and say, Lord, give me revelation in Jesus' name. Hebrews 12 and 25, when you get it, would you say amen? Read this with me quickly. Read what it says. See, come on, read it with me together. It says, see that ye refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. 26, read. Whose voice then shook the earth. But now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. So here it is. There is a promise from the Lord. And this was written after Jesus rose from the dead, after God shook the earth by Jesus' resurrection. The Bible says there was an earthquake. God, in a spiritual sense, shook the earth. He shook the powers of hell, broke the principality through his voice, when he spoke to Jesus, I've glorified thy son, caused total triumph in Jesus' resurrection to gain power in the earth again. And now the apostles turn the world upside down. Now the Lord promises again after Jesus' resurrection to shake the earth again. It is a promise from Jehovah, not Jesus, not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit had been given. This is not what this is talking about. There is coming, and we're in that time, a day and a time where Jehovah has planned to shake the earth and he has also planned to shake the heavens at the same time. The Bible speaks also of this in Joel. Joel talks about this great army that God raises up. The heavens shall tremble before them and the earth. So it will be a dual effect. It will be a shaking not only in the earth realm but in the heavens. You may say, what is, when the heavens shake, what happened? Oh, believe me. Let me say this to you. When the earth is shaken by God, it is changed. When heaven is shaken, heaven is already perfect. It don't have to be changed. But when heaven is shaken, that means the powers and the authorities of that world is brought to this place. When the heavens are shaken... I want you to think of, we know what an open heaven is. We know what a portal is. Isn't that right? When the portals of heaven open, we know angels come down, stuff come out of heaven on earth. Isn't that right? Well, when the heavens are not only shaken, I mean, uh, uh, open in a portal form, but when they are cracked and ripped open and shaken, more is poured out. God promises, the Father promises to open up the heavens and shake them over the earth. At the same time, there will be a synonymous shaking with the earth and the heaven. This has always been God's desire. Jesus told us to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in. When the earth shakes, heaven must shake. When heaven shake, the earth is going to shake. But the only person who has promised to do any shaking has to do with God. God promised to shake the earth. God promised us, our generation, to shake the earth. That means to shake the powers of hell down here. To shake people out of their complacency. To shake them out of this homosexuality that they're doing in America. To shake them out of lesbianism. Shake them out of drugs. To shake them out of demonic powers of all sorts. I don't know if you understand this, but that's what it's going to take 
in our generation. People have to be shaken. Anything that has to do with the Father, he shakes you. He shakes you up. See, I've learned this, that if you're ever going to work with the Father, you've got to get shaken up. People who are not shaken up cannot work with God. That's the message he told me to give you tonight on that stage. He says, David, talk to my people tonight about reverence. Reverence. They must understand reverence if they will work with me. The only people who are going to work with God are people who's already been shaken before the shaking. If you ain't shaken, you're going to be shaken with everything else. God got to shake you before the shaking happens if you're going to be effective. If you're going to have anything to do with him, you got to be shaken. I have been shaken, and I understand very well what it means. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I've been shaking people. And I'm not talking about, you know, you say this, then saint says, yeah, I've been shaken too. Someone lied on me. Nope. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. No. That's baby stuff. No. You... When you start dealing with God, when he starts shaking you, the Father administers discipline, correction. I know what it is to be handed over by God and by his son to Satan for seven years. If nothing will shake you, that will shake you. Now, I'm not talking about some demon. I'm talking about the top king of hell. And he is evil, people. You have no idea what fear is. You have no idea what fear is. Until you really start walking with God. I mean a clean fear. A holy fear. A reverence. I know what it is. You know, I've had so many leaders and fathers ask me, they said, how have you learned how to walk in so much honor? And not only that, but we see reverence in your life. If you've been where I've been, you will come out reverent. People who have never been shaken don't know how to be reverent. Because they are not afraid of anything. They don't have no fear. God will shake you. If you don't get shaken before the shaken, you're going to be shaken. You got to shake before he shakes it. Because when he shakes it, you won't be afraid because you've already been through that and you know what it is. See that? You will be stabilized. 